down here at the Wisconsin FTC Championship, checking with team number 265, Viking Robotics. This is the first and oldest team in the state of Wisconsin. I'm here with Emily, Joe, and Ethan. And we're gonna check out this really cool bot here on Behind the Bot. Uh, some things we're gonna be talking about. Some cool programming on here, a slow mode that they have on it. Uh, love this elevator. You gotta check out these belts as well and some other great things here they will be talking about. So Emily, kick us off programming on here. Uh, we're gonna be looking at some of the controller functions and how you've been operating that. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm mainly working in programming team and uh, for Teleop, we have a slow motion mode which can help us drive precisely and safely. It, it can improve our score a lot. So when you hit this button, it can shift to a s slow motion compared to the normal version, which is a lot faster. Do you know? Do you know how much it actually slows it down by? I think it's uh, about 50% of the normal speed. Makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, let's start focusing on some of this elevator on here as well. You mentioned some cool uh, custom belts that you really want to show off, and I'd love to see this whole elevator work as well. So tell us a bit more about this. Oh yeah, something we got into actually last year with these belts was using these specific type of belts. These are actually the belts they use on 3D printers, so they're not too expensive. I'd Honestly, I'd recommend almost every FTC team to be using these belts because they're just so convenient. Um, and if we raise this thing up here, you can see just how well this thing actually works. And we have ones going out as well. So the convenience of these belts as opposed to string is just that it's one continuous loop. So you're never going to break a belt like you will a string. And this whole assembly, I'm very proud of this here. And it's been working, working like a charm so far. So what made you, you know, you talk about cost, efficient, that sort of thing. Did you try this the first time and it worked, or did you go through a couple different iterations? For the elevator? Yeah. Uh, this was actually, it didn't begin looking exactly like this. It actually had a couple more shafts attached to it, but we had to minimize for weight reduction and for cost. So it just goes to show every design's not going to work out exactly like you think on the first try. It takes persis persistence and it takes testing to know exactly what you have to do to improve it. Makes a lot of sense. Love the iteration as it goes through. Uh, take us through this uh, intake uh, that we have here, and then I want to talk about some of the uh, drive and chassis as well, too. Thank you. So our intake that we use is called what we uh, call the grabber. This is now, of course, our first prototype. When we just started doing the grabbing mechanism, it was mainly out of sheet metal and recycled materials. But we still kept with recycled materials, and now we're using polycarbonate still. But it is a lot faster and is a lot stronger than we originally imagined. And with and it is, we don't use a motor at all, we only use one servo, which allows us to use motors on more specific parts of our robot. But the best part is, is the speed and maneuverability of the entire grabbing system, which is the, my favorite part about it. One thing I want to ask uh, in regards to the, using polycarbon, that sort of thing, I mean, there's uh, obviously the nice aesthetic appeal to it, uh, but, white, but weight wise though, you kind of kind of go back and forth in regards to aluminum or something else. So uh, was this purely cost wise for you? Because polycarb is expensive as well too. So run me a little bit more through on why, why polycarb. Uh, polycarb because we were on a tighter budget this year. We, and a lot, a lot of our sponsors um, reacted to when we sent out information about our team, but we, we know it was expensive, but we still had leftovers, um, like larger sheep um, polycarp pieces, which allowed us to be able to craft them into different um, elements that we needed. No, that makes total sense to me. I love that you're continuing to use things year after year. So Viking Robotics, thank you so much for showing up this really cool machine. Definitely some great takeaways uh, for teams looking in the future. Good luck here at the Wisconsin State Championship and, of course, for the rest of the season as well. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.